what is going on guys if you guys are loving the content that we have here hit that subscribe button if you're new here definitely hit that subscribe button as we have a lot of content here that is just dope and we upload nearly every day hit that notification bell to stay up, up to date on our content as well so today i want to talk to you guys about okja okja is a company i believe a sister company actually through oil perfumery and they make some pretty good stuff I haven't really gotten into their full lineup just yet and tried a, a, a lot of their fragrances. And I got one right here that I wanna talk to you guys about. So checking out the box here, got a nice little dark gray, almost like a chocolate, a muted chocolate brown box. Got Okja and gold letters on the front. Crafted in New York on the back. And then you're gonna open this up. It's a magnetic clasp right here where that opens up at and you're met with the message here on the front as well as your fragrance extremely nice presentation everything is solid very clean uh clear cut and just neat we take this out and like i said that just claps claps close and here is your bottle very solid bottle this is a 30 ml has a gold atomizer here very nice spray uh the cap holds pretty decent nice matte black sort of finish to it which i i love that look love that look like i said presentation on these so far they got some really good presentation everything is really neat and really tightly done simple minimalistic and i love that matte black finish let's try the fragrance on Mm. what i get is like a bright musky slightly woody floral when i smell this it's very bright uh has some uh florals got some sweetness in there slightly woody and musky but what really captures my attention is just that that sweet floral and that musk that captured my attention the most. The notes for this fragrance are rose, berry, oud, ambergris, patchouli, vanilla, musk, jasmine, and mandarin. Now the mandarin, I don't catch much of. Yeah, I don't get much of that. I'm gonna try this again on a different spot on my arm. I don't know if this ever happens to anybody, but sometimes the fragrance will smell different on different parts of the body. If I spray it on my wrist, I'll get something different. I'll spray it right here on my hand, I'll get something different. Uh, let me know in the comments if that ever happens to you. Yeah, I get a very, like I said, sweet, creamy, musky floral is what I get. I'm gonna pull up the notes again. So you get you get the woodiness from that oud, the musk from that ambergris is gonna come from that. Of course, they got musk in here as well. Uh, and you may get a sort of a musky vibe from depending on what oud you have. The oud isn't really strong; it's very light uh i wish honestly i wish it was a little bit stronger rose and oud always goes together really well and i might get a little bit of musk from whatever berry that they use in this fragrance um very nice scent it's it's super nice it's super bright uplifting it's not vibrant in like a zesty or you know super fresh kind of a way it's just very light welcoming clean floral has some sweetness in there have some musk, uh, a little bit of woodiness. I wish the oud was a bit more amped up. You pick up on that musk, that ambergris a little bit. That vanilla comes in and adds that sweetness that I'm catching. It's a very smooth and creamy sort of a sweetness. So that's where I'm catching that from, from that vanilla. The jasmine comes in and adds more of that herbal floral sort of a tone. And again, I'm not catching any of the mandarin. I'm gonna try this one more time and see if I can catch any mandarin. Okay, so when you first, first, first spray this, I catch a little bit of it. And I mean, when you just, okay, I get it. Like, it's super quick. Uh, that nearly went away instantly. I don't catch any of that, like, really lingering and staying around. And that would have been nice. A nice little, uh, that bright and sort of tart mandarin coming in there a little bit. And uh, uh, beefed up on that oud a little bit more. That would have been fantastic. Overall, this is a great fragrance. This is this fragrance would shine well in the spring, in my opinion. Spring, nighttime, spring, daytime, either or. This will shine bright at that at that particular season. Like I said, man, 
presentation is solid the price point on this i want to say you're going to pick this up for about 40 bucks on their website i could be mistaken could be give or take but i want to say 40 dollars you can pick up this uh this one ounce bottle matte black finish on the bottom uh black cap gold atomizer some great sprays on that atomizer as well uh really nice bottle this is extra to our farm concentration lovely box here and this is a box that i don't mind keeping some boxes you get and you really don't care for them because they're so bulky and in the way this one actually seems a bit more convenient uh it doesn't seem like it takes up a lot of space and i don't know just in seeing the box it makes me want to keep it, it makes me want to hold on to it also it has oak jaw on the side over here as well i didn't notice that uh but yeah that is it for this first impressions on that particular fragrance and that one is called dream fuel um that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and i will catch you guys soon peace Never stop, got so many ops, I be mistaken, I swear I can't stop, oh, yeah. won't stop, oh, yeah. never stop, got so many ops, I be mistaken, I swear I can't stop, oh, yeah. won't stop, oh, yeah. never stop, got so many ops.